Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anastasia and I'm your go-to holistic health and fitness expert. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do it right now because you need to know all the small tips and details of how to nurture and navigate your lifestyle throughout your age to be the best version of yourself, to eat food, enjoy from your food, to have your sexual drive, to have the sexy physical appeal, but not only those, also your mental states that would give you and enhance your sexuality, your creativity, your individualism. This is what all about holistic way of living. This is what I teach. This is what I follow myself in the last 16 years of my life and what I want to offer for you. So if you feel that you need some navigation and some help in this area of gut health, digestion, physical activity, mindset issue, mental health, sexual drive, and so and so, feel free to send me a DM. All the links are down here below in the video descriptions. I have all my social media attached and you have also a Google form that you need to fill out and you have a chance to to see me and meet with me on a free consultation call over Zoom where we'll discuss particularly your situation, particularly your case, and I will offer for you bespoke measurements of how to get out of your situation and be the best magnificent version of yourself. In today's video, I want to speak with you about psychology of aging. What does it mean? Psychology and aging, anti-aging or not aging. So basically, we are living in the era where there is so much of beautification, so much of spa, so much of injections for men and for women as well. Of course, women are more into this religion, let's say. I have another video that aging is like religion. Make sure to watch those as well. So, and the way you age, it's not only your type, the way your skin changes, the way it shrinkles or not shrinkles, the way you gain weight or lose weight. It's about the reflection of your psychology. It's about what you are in your head, what you're thinking about yourself and not only about yourself. What you look in the life for other people. How do you really authenticity level is measured for the life of yours and others how authentic and generous and genuine you are to others and to yourself and not only that because if you say that you are generous and you are loving and you are humble towards others but you neglect yourself even so inside your family if you have a kid if you have maybe already grandkids if you are still in a relation with your boyfriend or girlfriend but you prioritize all these people above you and you put yourself as the last person and even the way you cook meals, even the way you do shopping, even the way you buy gifts for the holidays or just on the weekends. How do you think first? What do you purchase first? What do you look after first? Do you wake up and do for yourself a celery juice or you go and make first a coffee for your husband? I don't know. A cereal for your daughter, a tessera, tessera. You need to make sure that if you want to age gracefully and you want to have a peace of mind in this area, and even so, if you say that beauty for me is last thing, but still, if you look in the mirror, you still have some thoughts, and um, I would say, um, uh, how I would say, when you look at yourself in the mirror, actually, it's uh, the most honest. Um, judgment how do you feel about yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror okay now I don't have mirror around me I have my glasses and there is a mirror reflection so if I look at myself and you do it right now also find something any object besides you that you could look at yourself and see the mirror reflection and honestly really honestly loudly say what do you see and how do you observe yourself do you judge your nose do you judge your lips do you judge your skin do you judge your hair today? Do you judge how your eyelashes look uh, without mascara? Do you judge your wrinkles? Do you judge your uh, dermatologist? Do you judge your person who take care of your skin and your looks? And looks how funny is here to catch your psychology. Because we would judge our face, our body, and either we would complain and say how is not as we want to have or how it is as 
maybe other person have but you do not have for example even celebrity or someone on social media influencer I don't know your sister-in-law anyone or you would say also that your mm, skincare expert or your dermatologist or your spa therapist didn't do procedure right didn't inject for you enough hyaluronic enough Botox or you need to do an repair again because it's summer coming up and you want to all um, fresh and glowing for the summer but here it's another catch first two you judge yourself and which shows that your psychology it clearly says you that you do not love yourself you do not put yourself on the first place and this is an issue we need to work in this direction number three it's when you say that as someone as for example your skin care uh, therapist or the expert in the spa in the clinics where you go and take care of yourself didn't do something right for you or for example you buy something in a shop as a, your outfit and you suddenly realize that this color does not suit you anymore and there is was a consultant in the shop who advise you particularly on this piece of the uh, jacket or t-shirt or bra anything and then you say that this is the person who is wrong that's why you look uh, not as good as you should look and that's why when you look, do now this exercise with me and you look at yourself you particularly your thoughts go oh this person did so and so and that's why I look so and so here you take responsibility you put your finger on other person or even on many persons either it's a spa a shop uh, consultant or it's your husband because he didn't let you sleep enough or it's because your kids or it's because your job anyone who say when you say that this is because of them here one trick you need to do this is because of you you need to try to change this psychology you need to change simply that this is your responsibility and where you are it's your doing if you are not happy of your skin tone, your skin color, your hair length, your body shape, your abs or the absence of your abs, your booty shape, your boobs, anything in your life is your responsibility. I know you would say that, you know what, I will switch off this video, thank you very much because you are saying something irrelevant. This is the trigger that you feel because I'm telling you to take the responsibility, it's not an easy one and it's harsh, it's not comfortable, it's very discomfortable it's not pleasant but if you take the responsibility and you take the finger from them and put it at yourself you would be able to change your life generally authentically firstly thinking about yourself prioritizing yourself looking after yourself and then you effortlessly put yourself on the first place you effortlessly start to like a better food items you start to like a better skincare products because you know that it's for you to nourish yourself to look good and to benefit your health your longevity your anti-aging your well-being your gut health you know that if you eat pizza in the evening or lasagna it will make you bloated so you would say you know what I will pass it I will take some steamed veggies or just the juice or some grapefruit because you know that this is what bring you more comfort more happiness into your digestions and overall well-being because if your gut health and your digestion is unhappy it goes immediately to your mindset it's immediately change your mood it's immediately reflects on your sexual drive it's immediately goes to the point where your skin become dull and puffy and that's why you age faster so you see how this whole circle is so connected so when you catch yourself in your day after watching this video that you complain or you say that this is because of you turn your finger at yourself and say what I can do about and change it if you do not like something change it's so easy to change take responsibility take the charge of it because you are my darling you cannot imagine how powerful you are you are your own powerhouse and any aspect of your life you can moderate correct restructure and do it better because you do and it's not about being 
and narcissistic all that oh i did it that's why it's so great no it's about that you take a charge you take responsibility you take a curiosity view that you want to change this you enjoy the process you shift your mindset and guess what no matter what your passport says you get older five years from now ten years from now 15 years of now 20 years from now this mindset when you take responsibility of the your life of the things that goes in your life of people and how do you react to them it's not about manipulating or taking them or you know being overprotective it's about of being responsibly how you react to the situation and to the people you would see that you would stress less you will have a better mood you will have a more happy and joyful state of life you would enjoy every single day and you would see that all those wrinkles all those puffiness sluggishness overeating bungee eating would not disturb you because you live in a pure sense of happiness joyful place and satisfaction and you do not care about anything because you know if it's make you upset or it's trigger you a little bit you can take this from the table and you can change it and it's tangible or not tangible believe me you can change it try from a small things again do it again the exercise watch it yourself in the mirror each time you watch it yourself in the mirror remember this exercise do not judge complain or self-sabotage yourself do not complain about others put a finger at you and say what can I do about it and do it you know so this is it for this video I hope you enjoyed do not forget to put like share with someone in your group let's grow together and change our mindset let's be the gorgeous sexy and magnificent women in this world hope you love it and I will see you in the next video I will see you in the zoom call if you choose to meet and discuss more about the situation in your life and see you